What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a fantastic week. If not, it's Friday. It's the weekend, guys. So just kick back, relax. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. Show your support. Join the family as always, guys. Turn on that notification bell. Head over to the channel. That way you can check out the rest of the videos we posted. I recommend checking out all the series. We got tons of stuff Monday through Friday that we post that I enjoy doing and that I work really hard on. But anyway, besides all that, we're going to keep moving through our Pokemon Coliseum that we've been doing on the emulator right now. We're about to conquer the cave where Mirror B is. Alright guys, so it's time to enter this cave. Now if this is the first time you've caught one of these videos, just want to recommend checking out the rest of the series. And there's two major things you need to know how to do things. I'm going to be showing you who has the Shadow Pokemon and what the Shadow Pokemon is as I capture it. And that's about it. I'm not going to be wasting a lot of time showing all the battles in and out details. And um, I'll probably show the main final fights just to show good Pokemon battles. But you're going to be finding this is going to be more about where items are, where the dungeons are, where stuff leads to, what you need to do next type thing. It's not a full on guide, but it's just how I'm presenting it. I want to show the ins and out of the game uh, as well as show you the shadow Pokemon. But like some of the shadow Pokemon battles take, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes because very meticulous on how to absolutely get them uh, because you don't want to miss them. <clears throat> If you miss one, then you won't be able to cleanse them all. You won't be able to go after Ho-Ho, which is extra. After the final boss, there's some Pokemon that you have the ability to go get afterwards. After the final boss, that still need to be purified. After you purify all of them, you can take on the tower. I mean, you can take on the tower beforehand, but if you wait and take on the tower after you purified all the Pokemon, you have the chance to get Ho-Ho. Now, with that being said as well, there's something else we need to talk about. Number two is something I talk about every video is that there is a ball trick and then the way that works is in this game there's two on two battles always um and so when you're ready to snag the shadow pokemon you take your first pokemon that you attack with throw a pokeball great ball master ball whatever you want to throw um and then with your second pokemon before you attack you go back to the ball bag and whatever ball you threw so if you threw a great ball you're going to move a great ball if you threw a pokeball you're going to move a pokeball and so forth and so forth so let's say we have 20 great balls you throw the great ball with the first pokemon and then with the second pokemon you move the great balls up or down a space and it registers you moving the full stack so when you throw that great ball it doesn't come out the stack that you moved so you have infinite amount of balls now this only works when you have two pokemon though you can't do this trick with one pokemon uh, with that being said as well, you also need to be careful when you're capturing Shadow Pokemon about getting them down because they can do Shadow Rush at any point in time. And anytime a Shadow Pokemon does Shadow Rush, they take a recoil effect. And by taking a recoil effect, um, it can knock them out. So you do need to be careful with that as well. Just keep it in mind when you're capturing them, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get all our items. Ultra Ball, sweet. About time we got some of them. Do you not do anything, guy? All right, moving forward. A little bit like a maze down here today. Always make sure you save as well. I, I think I said that earlier, but I just really want to emphasize on that. Be careful. Um, you don't know who has Shadow Pokemon, who does, who doesn't. Uh, so make sure you save so you don't have to replay the game a hundred times. Not all of them have Shadow Pokemon, but unless you know which ones do, it's really good to save. I don't do a very good job of it in an area like this. I generally risk it for the biscuits um, just because you can always come back and catch them. And, and if you have to repeat a couple times, then you'll learn your lesson the hard way like I have. But right now, I don't feel like going to save, so I'm not terribly worried about it. I know there's a save machine down here somewhere because there's a boss battle. So hopefully I can hold out till then. If not, I'll have to be much more meticulous. But I don't feel like running all the way down that building every time I need to save. Probably should, but it is what it is. Here we go. Alrighty. Yeah, she had one. She had one for sure. Duck sparse. 
I'll be glad when I'm able to finally purify some things. So the way that it works is when you get a Shadow Pokemon, its heart's completely closed and all you have is Shadow Rush. And as you work, I think there's five bars. As you work each bar down, you get a move. Then there's a spot where you have to go two bars down to get a move. And then to get the last move, you have to free the heart completely. And that's getting it all the way down then going purifying it. We've not got far enough. Yes, save machine, healing machine. We have not got far enough in the game to purify anything. I've been working on getting the hearts down so that when we're ready, we're ready. Plus, I need to get some of my other Pokemon levels up. And you can train with the Shadow Pokemon as much as you want, even if their hearts are all the way down. Because when you purify them, uh, that experience comes rolling in that they earned. Uh, so it does play a part in them leveling up when they're purified. Nice. We've gone from 9 to 15. Perfect. Now, I saved a couple times in between. Don't get me wrong. Ooh, there's items over there. I guess we go up these stairs? Yeah. More fun. What you got, kid? I see you eyeballing me. I see you eyeballing me. I guess we'll have to go this way. All right, might as well take him on, right? Yeah, I don't care about you guy. Defeated. Let's keep rolling. What you got? Nice. You didn't have nothing either. I think that leads to, I don't think this, this leads to the items. We'll tackle you, sure why not. Whatever, get out of my way. Hey, it did lead to the four items. Cool. I was for sure the other stairs going down would have led to that, but oh well. Nice. Not a bad find at all. Alright, nothing over here. Might as well go check out the other stairs, right? There was a guy by these other stairs. Might as well get that checked out as well. I want to explore the whole place before I go and save, before I fight the Mayor B or whatever. Yeah? You want a promotion? Too bad. You're going to get a demotion because I'm catching your Swabble. Swabaloo? Swabulu. I don't know. Oh, well, guy. Let's go. Call his shadow Pokemon. Alright, let's tackle this chick. Tackle this chick. Still no more shadow Pokemon. All right. All right, well, let's keep moving forward. Let's save. All right. Now that we've saved, we can go down the other staircase. This staircase leads to the mayor, I believe. Yeah, leads to another part. We've already explored the rest of it as far as we can. Talk to everybody. I'm pretty sure he's right through here. And if he is, you're going to have to check back next week for that battle. Because I'm, yeah, I'm not starting that this week, guys. But we have found him. 